Hey y'all and welcome back to Supper the Family Table. Today's video is part of the collaboration that Tiffany over at Small Town 6 is hosting. If you haven't checked out her channel before, you definitely need to go and check it out. She shares a lot of meal inspiration and lots of homemaking content so if you like that kind of thing be sure and check her out as well as all of the other videos that will be in the playlist linked in the description box below so this is an organizing video as you can tell by the title so if you want lots of organizing inspiration you can check out the full playlist but today i'm organizing my spice cabinet this has been on our list for a while and it just never got done so today i'm finally getting it done so i'm starting by taking everything out and just separating it into two categories my more baking like spices like cinnamon and cloves and things like that and then my herbs and like chili powder and cumin and all that good stuff If you are coming over from the collab, thank you so much. I just want to say welcome and thank you for stopping by my channel. I share lots of cooking content on here, lots of easy meal ideas, healthy meal ideas to help you show you all that. Healthy eating doesn't have to be complicated and it doesn't have to be super expensive. So I really appreciate y'all being here and if you like what you see, please subscribe. Now I'm transferring everything over from the jars that they are in to four ounce canning jars. So I just got these at Walmart. I'm pretty sure you can probably find them on Amazon as well. I'll try to link them below, but they're just the four ounce size. Thought they would work really well for my spices. We've been wanting to switch over our spices to some other sort of like uniform container for a while. And these seem to work out well. So we picked them up um, and they fit, they're going to fit really well in my drawer below. So I'm going to be moving them from the cabinet that you see me get everything out of to the drawer below it. Now, for now, I'm just writing on them, uh, just on my lid, what they are. I really wanted to get either some chalk stickers or some chalk. I even saw that they had chalk mason jar lids that you can actually buy. So the lid part is chalkboard and you can just write on it and you can always change it out if you switch out the spice. I really wanted to get those. Couldn't get those in time though for this video. So, but I'll either get those or the chalkboard stickers at a later date. I'll probably post a picture. So follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you want to see how that looks. But um, I'll try to leave links below to the things that I'm talking about. So be sure and check out the description box. But for now, I'm just writing on Sharpie and that will come off when you wash it. We do this for our milk jars and it works just fine. So I didn't have enough of the mason jars for all my spices. I knew I wouldn't, but it was enough to get a good start and we'll get some more soon. So um, I'll just put the spices that I didn't have jars for, I'll put those back in the cabinet. Um, as you can see, I'm just gonna put those back and after I clean out the shelf, of course, wipe that down, clean everything out. And then I'm gonna put the, um, I'm gonna put like herbs and cumin and those kind of savory spices in the bottom because that's what we always do. They're easy to grab. And then I'm gonna put the more baking spices like the cloves and the allspice and the cinnamon and everything on the second shelf.
have this really cute little batter bowl that I got when I was at an antique shop in Tennessee and I'd just been using it to store some of the spices that weren't in a jar because I buy them at a health food store. So I'm just going to put a few of those back in there and then I'm going to put that back in the cabinet. I had it before I had it on the second shelf and it worked out okay but I couldn't get it to work out the way I wanted it to after reorganizing so I ended up putting it on the third shelf but I don't need to reach it very often so that's okay. So now that I'm done putting everything in the cabinet, here's all the stuff that I got out of the drawer. So this is a drawer where we keep like dish towels and, and stuff like that and some other random things. So I just found all those things a new home and then I wiped out my drawer really well, put my shelf liner back in there, um, and then I put all of the spice jars in. I have some extra space in the drawer right now until I add more spices and before I reorganize everything else I went ahead and put my hot pads in that drawer as well because I need them to be easily accessible. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I hope you subscribe if you haven't and please be sure and check out all the other videos in the playlist that I will link down below.